In this training video, you will learn the steps to complete a basic install of the H4 thermal camera. After completing this training, you'll be able to identify the steps to install the camera to a surface, connect the cables, and aim the camera. Before we get started, let's review a few general guidelines to follow when mounting and aiming in a Vigilon video analytics camera. Follow these recommendations to maximize the camera's analytics capabilities. Install the camera above 174 centimeters. Tilt the camera downwards no more than 45 degrees. Align the camera image with the horizon line and install the camera to a stable surface to minimize vibration and movement. For further details, see the guide available in the eDocs app and on the Vigilon website. Also available is our in-depth ACC video analytics course. Topics include setting up basic and advanced configurations, positioning cameras for analytics, configuring motion detection, and more. You can register for this course in the Vigilon Training Center. We will now return to the installation. We will first install the mounting bracket. If the cables for the camera are not coming from inside the mounting surface, install the junction box first. We recommend using the junction box if you will be installing the camera with auxiliary power or external digital inputs and outputs. For this training, we will use the mounting bracket included with your thermal camera. Use the mounting template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. Next, Drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface, then pull the cables through the entry hole. Fasten the mounting bracket to the mounting surface. We recommend applying silicone sealant around the edge of the mounting bracket to prevent moisture from entering the mounting surface. As an option, you can remove the sun shroud if you intend to install the camera indoors and space is limited. For ease of installation, we recommend removing the sun shroud before installing the camera. To remove the sun shroud, press down on the center, then pull up the corners of the shroud from one side of the camera. Next, use a T20 pin-in Torx driver to unscrew and remove the sun shroud mount from the camera. To reinstall the sun shroud, reinstall the mount. 
Then, align one side of the sun shroud to the mount. Press down on the center of the sun shroud and flex the edges up. Then, lower it into place. For this training, we will leave the sun shroud installed. Insert the mounting hooks on the rear of the camera into the mounting hook slots on the mounting bracket. Then, let the camera hang. Next, we will connect the cables. Before connecting any cables, protect the cable connections from moisture and corrosion. The optional junction box provides a watertight seal that helps prevent moisture from corroding the cable connections. If you are not using the optional junction box, make sure the protective cable boot is installed over the ethernet port to protect the connection from dust and moisture. If you plan to connect any external input or output devices, for example, door contacts or relays, connect the devices to the camera's digital I.O. connector cables. If you plan to connect an external microphone and speakers to the camera, connect the devices to the camera's audio I.O. cables. Be careful not to connect power to the audio input cable. Doing so will permanently damage the camera. Both the audio input cable and auxiliary power cable are brown. The auxiliary power cable is labeled AUX PWR and has a thicker gauge. For this training, we will use power over ethernet. For more information, see the installation guide. Since we are not using the junction box, we will install the protective cable boot. Remove the pre-installed protective cable boot from the ethernet port, then thread one end of the ethernet cable through it. Crimp the Ethernet cable. After you connect the cable to the camera, slide the boot over the Ethernet port. Connect a network cable to the Ethernet port. The link LED indicator will turn on when the network establishes a connection. To access the link LED, remove the configuration panel cover with a T20 pin in Torx. The connection status LED indicator will display the progress of the device as it connects to the network video management software. If the connection status LED indicator shows one flash every second, the device is attempting to obtain an IP address. If you see two short flashes every second, the device is obtaining an IP address. However, it is not connected to the network video management software. If the LED flashes two short flashes and one long flash every second, the device is updating the firmware. When the connection LED shows a solid light, the device has connected to the network video management software or an ACC server software. Once all the cable connections have been made, the next step is to secure the camera to the mounting bracket. Tuck the extra lengths of cables into the cable entry hole. Raise the camera until it covers the mounting bracket. Use the camera mounting screws to fasten the camera to the bracket. Next, we will aim the camera. Reference the camera's live stream as you make the necessary adjustments. To aim the camera, loosen the adjustment screws on the camera mount arm. Rotate and move the camera and mount arm as required. In outdoor installations, the sun shroud should be set as far forward as possible without intruding on the video image. Slide the sun shroud forward or back to protect the camera against glare from the sun. 
Tighten the adjustment screws on the mount arm to secure the camera's position. In the camera's web browser interface or the Avigilon Control Center software, adjust the camera's image and display settings or image rotation to suit your needs. With the camera now installed, use one of the following methods to configure the camera further. Use the USB Wi-Fi adapter to access the mobile web interface. If you've installed multiple cameras, you can use the Avigilon Camera Configuration tool to configure common settings. Alternatively, you can connect the camera to the Avigilon Control Center system to configure the camera. Lastly, if the camera is connected to a third-party network management system, you can configure the camera features in the camera's web browser interface. For more information on any of these topics, please see the Avigilon website, the eDocs app, or the Avigilon Training Center. To sum up, ensure you review the installation guide for important safety information before installation. Familiarize yourself with the various components included in the camera package. If the cables from the camera are not coming from inside the mounting surface, install the junction box first. Connect the cables according to your site's needs. Reference the live stream to aim the camera and use the methods mentioned previously in this lesson to configure the camera.